Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Gold and Silver Report for the 4th of January. And at this uh, trading level, at major trading level 2 here, the 2000, we're expecting a classic trading levels pattern across this particular level. And that would look like this here. So if that's the 2000 across here, then we're looking for the arrival, the reaction, which we're getting now. And then we'll be looking for the first high above the level. We're looking to trade this long up through here. And then we'll get an ABC correction. And then we'll push up higher from that point. So across the 2000 level here, this is the normal process. Now, there is a variation on this where it doesn't need to come back below the level here and that would look like this here so that's also impossible but uh, possible but i don't think it's the case but um if we we're going to go into some parabolic move well then that would certainly play out at that point we wouldn't miss anything because once we're tracking this five-way structure up through here then that high becomes the reference point so when you move above that we'd be going long again and um, we can also revert to the second high here and if it does drop below the level well then we need to work through that correction the same as we're working through this complicated correction here as well and this particular correction through here um, Wave fourth get complicated. Can it get more complicated? Yes, it could. Um, it would. It could also um, drop down here and one more leg here. And if that was the case, then I would need to bring this wave three up into this space here. But it still wouldn't change the basic fold that we're looking for here as the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, uh, and then the ABC correction here, and then a move to the upside um, at, that, um, at that point. So that's in the bigger picture, that's what we're looking at, and we can pretty much expect to get something of that, uh, of that nature there as well. So I'm just cleaning a few things up here. Let's move into the daily chart now and uh, take a closer look at this. It'll just be a quick video today. I've got a bit of work to do coming back on board. Um, so we've got wave three coming back for wave four. Now, the interesting thing here is that the current move um, coming up through here um, is currently up here in three waves as this three wave move here this this and this here so that can be corrective would need to see it drop at that point if we make a new high here then it's likely to be bullish at that point because it's moving past the three wave um uh, the moving past the three waves that could be corrective at that point so taking out that high there and having support we can also look for a classic trading levels pattern sitting on that 1900 so let's just go in and have a look at that so we're on a four hour chart at the moment and we've got from the low here, we can look at this as wave one and two here, then one and two here, and then moving up into wave three here. Now, I don't know if that's the case, by the way, just. yet because it needs to take out if it takes out that high by all means then we can look at it being um, bullish from that point but um, as it stands we can look at this as an A wave a B wave and a C wave coming into this space um, and then uh, fading from that point so we do need it to climb up and well take that high out here would be one point and the second point here in looking for a trade setup we'd want to look at that 1900 there as the tested support so in that case um, obviously we've got this trend line resistance through here as well that's all pinning that down so it's going to get a little bit messy here it's not going to race off in in uh, any particular way but um, that said uh, if we can just refine this a little bit here let's just move over here a little bit for this so we're looking for the arrival here we've had a little bit of a reaction here already uh, and then we'll look for that first high so the first high above the level is what we're really looking for here because that's the reference point and that's likely to come in um, well above the 1900 here our levels are 10 20 and 30 which make up group one if we get tested support on top of group one by the way um the 1930 then that's going to separate the market from being pulled back to the 1900 and it will start to look at the 1950 at that point so that 1930 or the th 
30 there, or rather the number three, as I call it, if that gets a tested support, then we're bullish from that point as well. So we can look to add at that point. But in the meantime, just in here, we can see that all these highs here, they're at resistance points and the market's reacting. The market reacted strongly the first time, less the second time, so it will be less the third time. So there's half a silly chance that this market can climb up here and and get support there now. So even though I'm looking at this high here to start with in that regard, um, we can move that now to <clears throat> sit in on top of this little high here and then we can look to add to this high. the idea if that the idea really is to just somehow view the 1900 as a tested support as a support and then start to build in on 10 20 and 30 here and if that 30 becomes the tested support with the classic trading levels pattern sitting here then we can move up from that point so we're at a junction now that we can move uh, higher now for all of this so there is a lot of resistance here and also remember the 61.8% resistance is a little bit higher up here as well. So that's also going to give us some grief. But I mean, the main thing of moving past this one, two, three here as an ABC pattern um, is what it's really all about. So taking that high out there, that will help us with that. Um, yeah, this could be viewed as wave one and two here and then one and two and it'll three, four, five in here. So it, it looks like it wants to build to the upside. Um, but at the end of the day, your saving grace is having that 1900 as the tested support and then just keep the stop under under out of the way here for, for a while anyway. So you don't need to um, over trade with this. Just keep it small because we've got to get through a lot. I'll just save that and then we'll have a look at silver which obviously is in the same ocean the same boat so just on the daily chart here once again um, I'm hopeful looking at it being bullish but um, I can't confirm that it could quite easily just drop from here and have another low in here and that would be five waves here and then we would need to pick it up from uh, from that point So way forth can get more complicated. Like I said, we've got here, we've got this first move, second move and third move here. We need that high to be taken out here. And currently the box here, that is the 50, 60%. So that's where we're sitting here at the moment for that. So once again, we either need to take that top out here or we need to establish a nice support on the um, 26.50 here and the 26.50 um, is if I can just um, can I copy that like that yes so that 2800 there close enough for the time being 65 72 and 80 that's all of group two here and group two here so far was the resistance over here and it is the resistance here now so it's checking it now it's checking that supply there so um, we need to see if we can get through that um, and the first thing here I could say on the long side is that um, we want have we want to have support on this lower level of group two here the 2650 that's what we're looking for um, we're currently already long in this so we're going to go in and have a closer look at that as well so we viewed and talked about going long um, quite some time ago over here for this so what we can do now this is I can just yeah we don't want we don't want that 2500 becoming the retested resistance at this stage it does look on the healthy side it does look like an a wave down here a b wave here and a c wave here for wave two so that looks quite nice there i have to say this up here is also looking quite nice as a bullish pattern as well um, in terms of well uh be wave one here and two here and nice third wave coming up here this will be the fourth wave here all a bit complicated and then a fifth wave up here so what we want to do at this point we know that the market uh, can can fade from this point um, probably not the case but we just need to understand that so I want to understand this here a little bit better 
um, as well. So we need that tested support there. I suppose that's sort of okay in a way. That's the let's just go to the hourly chart so we can just have a closer look at this a bit. <clears throat> so I haven't got it labelled here, but <clears throat> we're looking at this as one and two and one and two here. <clears throat> and then looking at this as an impulse wave up here rather than corrective. And I do like that as an impulse wave. First of all, you can see how the amplitude of it here is, you know, there's more there's more of it than this correction here. So um, that's what's telling me that it's bullish at that point. That said, though, um, from that low here to that high here, I mean, I would like to call that one and two and three and four and five here, but and I could count that as one and two in here and three and four and five here, but we haven't made a new high here, so that bothers me a little bit. Um, but taking that low here and that high here, this is the 50, 60 percent retracement level here. So before I mentioned that we wouldn't turn bearish unless the 2500 became the retested resistance, and that's cool, we can continue continue to work with that but there is a warning sign below this level here for this so what we do want to see here for the bullish move here is we want to see that 2650 as the um, as the support there so to get that support we're looking for well I think we need to treat it separately here again really look we just needed a support and it's not that it's not sitting on support, it's here as resistance. So it could quite easily come down to here and then move up here again. And if it does that, then we're looking for that. You need to be looking for that classic trading levels pattern sitting uh, here as well um, in that case. So that means that the long trade would be sitting over here for that. So it just depends if that's the fifth wave high here <clears throat> but it hasn't made a new high here so it might just be one and two and building up here so we'll take that high out there um, but if it drops below here then you need to go through the classic trading levels pattern again uh, to establish that support there unless you can find another way in that you understand and have confidence in um, yeah so that's it just a quick little video to um, update gold and silver thanks for tuning in cheers